Welcome back, everybody. Okay, we have one last really fun recipe for Halloween. Um, and if your kids like burger, um, they're going to love cheeseburgers specifically. They're going to love this. Angie Horkin back here with the Beef Council. So what are we making? We're making a jack-o'-lantern cheeseburger pie. Fun. So, yeah, it is fun. So we're going to use uh, two crust refrigerated um, pie, pie crusts. Crust. Okay. Right, that you buy okay. right in the box. Okay. And I'll work on that end, and you can work on the filling. You bet. So parchment paper lining the, our large baking sheet. Yes. And why do that? Well, mainly so it doesn't stick. Okay. I'm with you on and that one. And for cleanup. Okay. Sounds good That's to me. That's right. So we love our parchment paper here. So we're going to make like a big, almost like a big hot pocket. There we go. Okay. So I'm just going to put one pie crust down on the parchment paper. And the second one will go on top. And I will we'll cut a face into it to okay. make it look like a jack lantern, and that's where that comes from. In the meantime, I've got some ground beef over here that I'm browning in a skillet, just until it's nice and crumbly yes. and no longer pink. About one pound of lean ground beef. Okay. Should we throw some onion in here now? Yeah, definitely. Okay, so we've got some. If the kids like onion, Ann says. Our big kid Ann over there says no onion for like her. Onion. <laughs> but there's a fork. Okay. A little bit of garlic. A little bit of garlic. Salt and pepper. Salt and pepper. Okay. So this is easy enough. Yeah. So that'll take eight to ten minutes to brown that up. Okay. Get the onions cooked. Yeah, this, see is, this is a very easy recipe, but it's fun. Uh, so I'm gonna open the second one. Do your kids trick or treat on Friday? No, we have not trick or treated yet. Ours so this Friday they're going to do it Friday, on, yeah, on the real on deal. I know some communities. Um, Ange lives down near um, Wisconsin Dells. I know some Milwaukee communities and they trick or treated over the weekend. Um, so you know, I, don't you think you got to get something in their stomachs before they hit the road? Yes. Because um, it makes for a long night, you know. And they come home from school, they're so excited they don't really want to eat. But if you make something fun to eat, then they will maybe want to eat. So I always like having some kids over at our house, and then they leave from our house to go trick-or-treating. That way I know they've got something in their stomach. And this pie does not take very long. About 10 minutes to brown the beef. The crust is just a refrigerated pie crust, and it doesn't take very long at all. And then we're so gonna now you're making it. your shape. Yes. Yeah, so then I'm going to cut in my face into the second pie crust, which will go right on top. And if it smells you, really good. If you use the lean ground beef, you can eliminate that step of draining your fat. Yeah, there's no. Me, and I'll speed it up. There's nothing in here. It looks great. It smells really tasty, too. So then I see um, a little soy sauce. Worcestershire. Worcestershire. Worcestershire sauce, okay, however you want to say it. A little bit of ketchup right ketchup. In, the, in with the mixture. Yes. And, and then a little bit, a little of, bit mustard. of mustard. Get our cheeseburger flavor. That's fun. I'm not much of an artist. That's all right. The kids will still love it. It's just something fun. There. Get a little more there of that ketchup out of there. So once that gets browned up, you can either add, I've got three cups of Monterey Jack. Okay. So you can either add this, two cups of it to the beef mixture, or you can put the beef mixture, we're gonna just put it right on the inside of this pie crust, leaving about an inch on the edges, and then you can top the cheese have it with cheese. Okay. And at home, should you let this cool a little bit? Yeah, you could. Okay. You could, definitely. So put it right in the middle, and then we'll put our cheese on. And then I'm going to crack one egg. We're going to use the egg white to brush our pie crust. Give it a nice golden brown in the oven. This, this only takes about 10 minutes to bake. You've got your ground beef cooked through. Just waiting for the, so you just, want just the need dough. to get the crust. Okay. Yeah, the pie crust to bake. Okay. So cheese on top here? Yes. Bunch about, of cheese? Yeah, uh, about half of that. Okay. Here's my yolk. Then the other pie crust. Carefully. Then the other pie crust. I'm going to put one tablespoon of water in my what egg white. And then kind of seal this. Should I you know, pinch yeah, it together? Pinch it together. Fold it under if you can, or just pinch it so it's sealed. 
I'm gonna do this one. is easy actually. One drop of red food coloring into my egg white. Oh, that's a little and secret. Two drops of yellow. And we're gonna make this guy look even more like a jack-o'-lantern. Give him a little orange color. Okay. I need a pastry brush. Fun. Yep, we have one. one. I know we used one earlier. There we go. And I kind of, I've scored you. this a little bit. And then when you bake it, you can see the scores to make him look like a jack-o'-lantern. Okay. Not really going through. And here's our hand. We just brush two this. of the eyes for the stem. Okay. It's super cute. What was the oven temperature yeah. again? Yeah. 425. So it's a little bit hotter little than bit normal. Hotter. Okay, so you'll continue brushing this, and then we've got one in the oven. I'm dying to see how this turns out. It looks oh. like it's going to taste delicious. So here he is. Give him right here. One big oh, it's so cute. I turn him. Yeah. And you can slice it off like a pie, and your crust is nice and cooked through, almost even finger food. Love that. So perfect for the kids. Yeah, a nice little salad or some fruit kebabs, and we're good to go trick-or-treating. Thanks, Ann. Happy Halloween. Yeah, we'll be back. Stay with us.